Hello friends and my subscribers. In this series, we would be modeling this BC Rich guitar you see on the screen using splines. Now, this series would be for beginners. If you have experience with the spline tools and the UV unwrap, you probably don't want to watch this series. It might waste your time uh, because I am going to consider that I'm doing this tutorial for absolute beginners who are new to 3ds max and is trying to learn different tools and so here we are uh, this guitar in particular has some decent shape that's why i picked uh, this model not that i'm a big fan of bc rich i like fender or dean personally but um this would be fun to model and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, model a low poly version of this guitar uh, we're not going to model all these details like the strings, the pickups, the volume knobs, um, things like that. All these details are part of the texture map. And I'm also going to discuss certain issues you come across when you're trying to uh, use the UV unwrap feature. Let me show you a quick uh, screenshot. Uh, as you can see, the UVs here are stretched and so is the image in the background and we're going to discuss how do you avoid such issues um, for for a model like this uh, first thing first you do need a reference image for this model that's going to help us to model and use the same image as the texture map and what i did is i googled bc ridge and i found this image in particular which had a white background originally I took it into Photoshop and I changed uh, the background color to something dark because when we are drawing splines, the, the color of the splines by default is white and it's good to have a dark background image uh, so we can see our lines on top of it. Uh, so if you get hold of the same image or something similar, make sure you change the background color. and. Let's see. So another look at the at the model here, what we are trying to do, and we're gonna get started right away. So let me minimize this, and we are into 3ds Max. First thing, uh, what I want to discuss is when you're drawing splines, whether it's a line or a circle or any shape in particular, uh, you you want to draw that in in the 2D viewports, uh, not in the perspective. And for this series, or this guitar, let's pick our front viewport. And I'm going to go to my Create panel and click on the shapes. And this is where the line tool is. Now, when you pick the line tool, there are certain options here under the creation method, which I quickly want to talk about. Uh, first, let me maximize the viewport. Uh, we have initial type and a drag type and by default the initial type is set up to corner and the drag type is set up to bezier. What that means is when you're drawing spline I click and I let the mouse button go and I move my mouse. The first vertex I made is a corner vertex. I click somewhere else to make the second vertex, let the mouse button go Again, this is a corner vertex. But if I click and drag, look what happens. Now I'm getting a Bezier vertex. Let me click and right click to finish. You can always change the vertex types later on. But if you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of experience with the shapes or drawing the, these lines in 3ds Max, what I recommend is you change both the corner type, both the initial type to corner and the drag type to the corner. And that's going to help you. And you can always change the vertex later on to a smooth or bezier to get the handles. Let me delete this. And what we want to do is load our background image. You can go to Views menu and pick on the viewport background here 
or the short key which is alt B if you haven't changed this shortcut you get the viewport background dialog so let me gonna browse to the file I'm gonna use this model here and we have the file a uh, couple of changes here what you want to do is change the aspect ratio to match the bitmap that way we retain uh, the original aspect ratio of the image and you want to put a check here which says lock zoom and pan what that does is basically when you're zooming and panning in the viewport um, the image is kind of locked with the model if this option is unchecked and you zoom and pan the image stays where it is and only your object comes into zoom and pan so match bitmap lock zoom and pan and say OK and there you go we have our background image loaded for the guitar and we are ready to model alright so I'm gonna go to the line tool and change my drag type to corner and keep the initial type to corner as well you can start anywhere um, you can make your first vertex here 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 doesn't really matter uh, for this one um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right here and then make my second vertex somewhere here make one vertex here one here sometimes you run out of space in the 2d view and if you use the middle mouse wheel to zoom and pan you it actually puts you out of the create mode let me quickly show you I pressed my middle mouse wheel to pan around or zoom but notice I'm out of the create mode and if I right click to finish or get out of the pan mode my line I'm no longer in the create mode for that line so uh, let me show you how, how you avoid this issue back to the line corner corner first vertex here second hair third hair fourth and say if I need to zoom in in this area and if I try to draw like that you can see I, I can no longer see the viewport you can quickly hit the Z key on your keyboard which is the zoom extend all shortcut and that kind of zooms in this area and you can now continue working so I'm gonna make more vertices like that go back here and again hit the Z make one vertex here one here one here one here zoom zoom one here zoom okay so let's do this put one here one here one here and we'll go back to the first vertex where we started and if you click right on top of that you get this dialog which is asking you to close the spline and we want to say yes so now we have a basic outline of the guitar and we're gonna go and manually fix this uh, let me right click to get out of the create mode and I'm gonna quickly check how we're doing on the time so I'm gonna pause the video for a second okay we are almost out of time so I'm gonna end this part one and we're gonna continue in part two thank you